Little Unicorn is Angry by Arlie Chen Chow Chin. This is Little Unicorn. He is very much like all the other little unicorns. Sometimes Little Unicorn is happy. Sometimes he is not happy. Sometimes he is sad. Sometimes he is scared. Sometimes he is angry. These are emotions, and little unicorn feels all kinds of emotions, just like you. But there's something that makes little unicorn special. He has a magical mane. When all is well, his mane shines with the colors of the rainbow. But when all isn't well, his mane changes. And his color shows just what he feels: happy, jealous, angry, guilty, shy, scared, stubborn, sad. How does a little unicorn feel today? Awful. His heart feels dark and stormy, and he's going to tell us why. And you? How do you feel today? Great, good, fine, not good, bad, awful. Now, why does little unicorn feel so terrible today? Most of the time, he doesn't have a care in the world. Like there's not a cloud in the sky. At home and at school, little unicorn feels fine. But there are some days when nothing seems to go his way, and that upsets little unicorn. On days when he decides to go play in the garden and it suddenly starts raining, little unicorn is annoyed. When he has to go to school, but he doesn't want to walk there, little unicorn is upset. And if Papa refuses to carry him, little unicorn is angry. When Mama calls him for bath time, but he doesn't want to take a bath, little unicorn is upset. And when it's time to get out of the water, but he still wants to play, little unicorn is angry. When he decides to do something all by himself, just like a big unicorn, but he can't do it, little unicorn is upset. Sometimes he even rolls around on the floor and kicks his feet. That's when he feels very angry. So very angry. It feels like he has a giant stormy cloud in his head, a cloud filled with lightning. What if instead of waiting for the cloud to go away, he could chase it away? He can. He uses his breath. When you feel a cloud of anger inside, you can do this breathing exercise to blow it away too. Breathing exercise to blow away the anger cloud. One little unicorn closes his eyes. He imagines the giant cloud in his head. He breathes in through his nose, inflating his belly as he stretches his arms down his body and closes his fists. Two. Little unicorn holds his breath. He shrugs his shoulder quickly a few times, up and down, up and down, as if he's pumping all his anger into the cloud. Three. Little unicorn relaxes his shoulders and hands, and he blows all the air out hard. 
He pretends to blow away his giant anger cloud. Little unicorn does this exercise three times. It takes at least three breaths to blow away the very loss of the lightning. At last, he begins to breathe normally. Now that he's chased away the clouds from his head, the beautiful sun can shine in. Ah, little unicorn feels much calmer. His good mood is back, and the rainbow has returned to his mane. The next time things don't go his way, it'll be okay. He'll keep his cool. If you use your breathing to replace a storm with the sun, you might feel calmer too, and your smile will return.